L listen, all right, you, you ready? You wanna hear something funny? All right, so here's something interesting. Well, first of all, let me ask you something. You, got, you, got a good, you guys look like you're close. Her head is right by your nipple, right? Do you ever think about his cock? Why, why is that on up? Why is that on up? Why is that on up? If I said you ever think about his uh, power tie, you would have been like, yeah, answer the question, hon. Or, you know, like, like why is cock an oh no? You ever think about his cock? No, oh, you don't want to be picked on that's right. No, don't even owe it. That's so weak. All right, hey, of course, fuck you, jerk off. Hey, hey, what is that? You know, my, both my parents died in the World Trade Center. Oh, are you gonna are you gonna say smart things back like none of your business? Yeah. You're gonna step up to the plate, huh? Uh, You're gonna give it the whole line. All right, I, I I only have one thing to say to you. What do you gotta say? To you ever think about his cock? Oh. That's how meaningless you are. You ever think about his cock? I don't. I don't. It's not your business. You ever think about his cock? <laughs> you don't know what my business is. You have no idea. It's not your business. Yeah, right. You know what I'm learning. Like when I get a stomach ache talking to someone, it means just turn away. It means talk to someone else. Oh, what a bad stomach ache I got. You're enjoying the show. Just enjoy it. I'm not here to like hurt you. Yeah, do you ever think about his cock? Let me ask you nicely. You ever think about his cock? Let me ask you nothing nicely. You ever think about his Disneyland? You know? But I'll let you off the hook considering, you know, <clears throat> what I'm wishing with WTC and you right now. You ready? Who's with who? I gotta ignore the guy. Like I'm so I don't have time to really like just show you who you are. Uh, you with him? No. You're alone. <laughs> ah, fuck it. You ever think about his cock? <laughs> See, he won't even admit he left. He'd be like, "Hey, cock. All right, here's another one. Shut up, nigger." Here's one that'll shut him up. Hey, you fucking little maggot Jew. Or how about this one? Hey, cocksucker. Cocksucker. That's what men do. Men don't know how to respond to each other. It was like, cock, cock, cocksucker. Shut up, jerk. W women are like, what a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see a trendy woman at a trendy cafe that H Hitler walks by before he's very famous? All right, here it is. <laughs> okay. This is a cafe, you know, before Hitler blew up, before he was huge. Well, first of all, you ever think about his cock? You ever think about his cock so much you lost your job? No! And you ain't thinking about his cock ever. Because if you ain't on the job going... My cock, my cock. What? I faxed it. What? I faxed it, FedEx it, phoned it in. Fuck you. I'm, 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 I'm fired. That's just fine. How, well, how do you know it's a sandwich? How can you see it? Fine, let me just grab Buford, Pickford, Hickory, Patches, and Maple, my 14 helium horse testicles, and go home. Yeah, you stood in the way of a joke. <laughs> She's grabbing her coat and leaving. That's oh, honey. Oh, honey, look, there's that. Oh, it's going to awful. It's like, oh, there's that Hitler. Ooh. No, it's, it's not Giannini. That's a dip mustache. I'm telling you, it's Hitler. Sergeant Hitler. Sorry, I think it's a sergeant. Sergeant Hitler. <laughs> Isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I heard him speak at the New Age Theater, the, uh, the, uh, oh yeah, I heard him speak at that place, the Cleansing Center, <laughs> where, where they're showing all those great new films, you know, the place where everybody's moving to, oh yeah, the place where everybody's, um, moving, uh, Williamsburg, <laughs> there he is, oh, hello, hello, toodles, yes, it, it's playing at two Nazi boots, some of those Nazi movies. <laughs> Oh, hello, toodles, Mr. Hitler, Sergeant Hitler, whatever. <laughs> oh, I love, hello, hello, I love your work. Um, my husband and I, we love your work. We think you're great. We love what you do. Uh, and the other guys, hey, hit, hit, come here, guy. Love what you're doing, man. Keep stepping up to the plate. <laughs> oh, he looks so good. I gotta, get, I gotta. I gotta get you some of those Banana Republic shirts and pants and ties, all in tan, all in blue. I love that uniform. That color combination is hot. I like the armband. It's kind of angry-ish-ish. 
I know, it's so amazing, you know, it's really amazing. This scone is awful. It's so amazing how when you dress well, everybody accepts you. They just do, they just do, they just do, they just do. I know, and I love how he said, you know what I love about him the best? So this scone tastes like rat shit. I love how he says he's gonna do something, and then he does it, right? So you never find that in today's society, like this waiter, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Piece of shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, what are you so impressed with Hitler for? Uh-uh, are you getting moody? Somebody just had some sugar. I think Hitler had too much sugar. Get the scone away from him, waiter. Hitler's killed over 300 Jews in one hour, and he says this is just the beginning. He's gonna exterminate all of them. He's gonna exterminate all of them, and, and anyway, anyway, you know, you should have heard it in the way he put it. I mean, you know, I mean, he, he, he... 